Let's switch gears here to what could be the biggest movie of the year. It's a big test of the movie business itself and getting people into cinemas. Julia Borston joins us with more on that front. Julia, good morning. Good morning to you, Becky. Well, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a key test of a big Disney franchise and also of the overall appetite for movie going. Year to date, the box office is down 35% from the same period in 2019. That's in part due to fewer movies as well as, of course, lower attendance. Theater chain stocks have suffered in the past 12 months. AMC shares are down about 75 percent, Cinemark down 44 percent, and IMAX shares down by about a third. So that's why the sequel is under so much pressure to perform. But also, its budget was reported at $250 million, and it doesn't have a release date yet in China, which is a key market for the box office. And this, book, this um, sequel to Black Panther may not get a release date in China. Analysts are projecting a domestic opening weekend of anywhere between $165 million and about $200 million. That's about what the first Black Panther film grossed. Now, Disney shares, they're down about 48% over the past year, in part on recent wider-than-expected losses in its streaming unit. When asked if theatrical films are poised for a comeback, CEO Bob Chapek replied, quote, from our observation, the tentpole big blockbuster films are certainly back. Beyond that, it gets a little bit more sketchy. So that obviously puts more pressure on these big ones. Barclays writing, quote, while Black Panther and Avatar, a sequel for that coming up, should help the theatrical revenues next quarter and in fiscal Q2, these releases will also drive a significant increase in costs. Now, one risk for this particular Black Panther sequel, it's two hours and 41 minutes long. That means fewer screenings of it per day in the theaters. Guys? Julia, that's exactly the point I was going to make. You know, you can have a great movie, but if it's two hours and 40 minutes, you can't rotate butts through the chairs as quickly. And especially if you're just looking at the first weekend numbers, it may not be as strong simply from, uh, you know, the power that you can't rerun it that many times. Yeah, I mean, that's one of those logistical limitations. Though at the same time, if people are going to be buying tickets and getting it out of the house, um, they're certainly going to feel like they got their money's worth if they're there for a two-hour two and 40-minute film. And the film has been getting good reviews. We haven't seen as many of the audience reactions yet, but in terms of critics, they seem to like it.